Liverpool official. Oh, Nicky, don't be doing uh, <laughs> Pip O'Connor's easy style and approachability oh, uh, has won her a huge and loyal following. Now Pippa shares her top tips and insights for how to uh, live well, look good and feel great. Uh, drawing on her own experiences as a model, businesswoman and a busy mother, Pippa reveals how to look fabulous without spending a fortune and Pippa's live in the studio. And the book is here. That right. was a lovely intro. Who it, wrote that? I would have given that even more if I hadn't already <laughs> chatted to you for five minutes first. No, no, let's joke aside. Uh, book is called Simple Tips to Live Beautifully. Yeah. Is this your first book? And I know... It's my first book, Nikki, and I'm really so happy and proud of it. I'm genuinely thrilled with how it turned out. Um, it's a beautiful hardback book full of beautiful imagery that Lily Forbrook Berg shot for Love me. Lily. Lily Forbrook's brilliant. Isn't she fab? Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm just really, really happy with the end result. Penguin did a great job in putting it together as well. So the content inside it... Ah, oh, there's a nice picture of your mum. Is that your mum yeah, there? Ah, oh, look is. at that. I um, know look at her glammed up to the nines the day I was born in the bed is that the day yeah how and funny I, and that's nice for my beautiful mum Louise our guardian angel well done so tell us how, where you started with this like was it years ago months it ago it was about over over a year and a half ago um, one of the Penguin team Claire Pelly contacted me and said I'd love to meet you to possibly discuss the idea of a book and I was like a book like what would I know about writing a book all I knew was I was writing from my website pippa.ie and I you know didn't at all think that I'd be capable I suppose um, but to be honest if you had told me how difficult it was going to be I probably would have thought twice it was hard was uh, it? yeah um, listen I know it's not a novel and everything in it was were things that I I knew and I talk about every day but it's just getting all of that information into a book in a kind of a short enough space of time um, it was tough going. I kind of locked myself away for a few days and weeks, should I say, on end. Would you do it at evening times, in the morning? How were you dedicating oh, time to it? When it got to the end, when it got to when I had to, you know, hand in everything, when I had like maybe three weeks left, two weeks, I was doing it five, six days a week, you know, first thing in the morning till four or five in the evening, take a little break and go back to it again. Uh, on the computer? Or are, you, are you doing a kind of... Yeah, yeah. Really? Well, I, I, well, like, I don't know anyone else's uh, method, but I used to like write notes first, then type, go back to my notes. I, just, I was all over the place. Uh, a so learning where, curve, to where, say the least. Where did you start off? Like, in, is, um, is, like chapter one? Are yeah, you thinking? Well, I, I broke it up into sections. So right. started with uh, fashion and really getting back to the basics okay so before we talk about clothes or what kind of clothes we should be wearing to make ourselves feel good um, all about body shape knowing your body shape knowing what styles and shapes um, suit you mm-hmm. so it was really going back to and basics. is that what you get on your, your kind of blog and website is that what the things that people are kind of unsure about themselves and yeah, you know and, and would contact bit, you do a bit of that and do a bit of um, body shape and it might sound simple but lots of us don't know her about body shape yeah um women anyway so yeah it was really about getting women i suppose to just um sit and and have a read and to think think what they are themselves yeah instead of saying oh i'd love to wear that so because not everything is going to suit everyone it's yeah. about knowing your shape and, knowing and I, what suits you and i think we're unique a little bit in ireland because we are living on an island do you think this book because there's loads of books out there especially in, in britain as well yeah, do you absolutely. think this is more relatable Obviously, to to our to an Irish audience. Well, yeah, hopefully, me yeah. being Irish, and a lot of the things that I'm talking about in there, I'm talking about different um, boutiques and products and stuff that you know are accessible here in Ireland. Yeah. What What do you think the is the biggest kind of um, for for Irish people that 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 say follow you, mm. or girls in particular? Yeah, their biggest kind of faux pas that they just don't know. You know, they kind of get themselves stuck in a, in a rut or in the middle of a kind of, I just need to get some clothes that actually look good. Um, I, th- I think the biggest thing maybe, is, again, not not knowing what, what suits you. Mm. Um, and everyone has a different sense of style. And I think you really have to have the confidence to to just express it and not wear something because I have worn it or someone else has worn it. You've seen it in a magazine. You know, if, if you like the style of something, you wear it and you wear it with confidence and I think confidence is such a massive thing you know you could put the same outfit on five different women but the one that looks the most confident and standing the tallest is going to look the best because yeah. she feels good in herself yeah yeah tell us um, do you think the Kardashians affect everything up oh, <laughs> do you know goodness. what I mean do you think people I was talking to somebody last week and they were saying about the Kardashians with uh, pretty much say 16 year old girls upwards mm. 
Uh, I'm maybe even younger nowadays, but yeah. but 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 the way they're like you know lip fillers, it, it's like the norm. It's like everything to do with facial surgery. I know. I don't. Agree, I don't agree with all that, especially for you know teenagers. My God, um. But I suppose you got to admire their their work ethic. And right. Chris Jenner is just the brains behind the whole thing. I admire that, and I find yeah. that fascinating. Yeah. Um. I don't like the whole um pressure that it's putting on young girls especially looking at the likes of Kylie Jenner like yeah. her face is just it's unrecognisable yeah. and what age, what age is she do you reckon um, I can't remember how old she is would she be in her 30s would she be, yeah, uh, she be in her 30s anyway yeah. no, no she's no. young she's only like Tw- is she 20, 20. I going to say 19 is she 21 now okay. 20, 21. is that not just far too young to be even considering any type of work well, I, in my opinion yeah absolutely Um, now we, we talked about earlier on Poco Oh, I'm not letting you out of the room Nikki. until you tell me what Poco was all about. Lottie Ryan sat there earlier on an hour ago and she was telling, she knew all about Poco, obviously didn't know what it was. I didn't hear that. Oh yeah, no, she was saying that she'd heard about it yeah. and she had an idea what it might be. What did she say? She didn't tell me. But I was, but you know, I said the door's there, Pippa will ask, you know, I can't stop oh, you from leaving, but I will ask you not to leave to Nikki. tell us something, just a smidgen. You're putting me on the spot. But it's going um, to be announced tomorrow officially, correct? It's going to be officially announced tomorrow. Okay. In one of the newspapers. Ah, oh, you did an exclusive with a paper. <laughs> God's sake. I didn't get paid for it or anything. <laughs> <laughs> so POCO stands for Pippa O'Connor Ormond. That's it. Okay, yeah. so what could it be? Okay, well, um, does, does anyone want to take a guess or like ask me a yes or no question? Right, good idea. I'm going to take a... 